real fine athlete and good leaping ability. But boy, I'll tell you, see, at the same time that he's taking that snap, he's looking down for how well they run the football. So that time, though, they were in a tight man. Second and ten, and Anthony Hill, known as a play. So Hill will either pass it or create it himself. Quick pass intercepted. Look out. Here comes Leary. Leary for a touchdown for Utah. He read it beautifully. Stepped in front, and there's their outstanding defensive back. And defense is the name of the Utah game. Hodge again offset to the right, and this time Hill keeps it for the touchdown. And Sonny Lubick replaced Earl and Remember that many of these youngsters were recruited by Earl, but then Sonny took them the next step. And here they are now with a kickoff to Lusk for Utah. Lusk with an alley. Lusk explodes. 35. Spinner to the 43-yard line. Dick, you have a connection with the Lusk family. Tell right. us that stuff. In an emotional ball game between two on beats. They're coming. It's right. blocked. Fielded by Utah in the air. It'll be downed down right there where he downed it. So they knew what they were attacking. Blocked. Picked off by Lusk at the goal. Still running. And out of bounds at the 29-yard line off the blocked field. Hill. Intercepted by Leary, his second of the first half. Leary coming back, slips a tackle. And now Leary down at the 31-yard line. His two interceptions, the difference in the ball game. See, they, they backed off and played zone that time. And the end result, uh, the time to correct a mistake is now. You know, and I've always believed that. And young people learn by making mistakes and, and go play football. Do it again, I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's great hanging around with a coach. Look at him. Bobble. Inters hold on. Intercepted on the ricochet. Garrett Sand picks it off. And they bucked him that time. And they're coming in. They there it is. The blocked punt. And this will give fumble again. Scooped up by Colorado State. And a wild and woolly one. But Utah will have only five yards to go for a touchdown on the blocked punt. A play they worked on at practice yesterday. Now it's a mad dash for the football. Strode trying to get it there at number 15, and wham! Oh, oh, man, was that a hit by Clarence Lawson, number 20. Third and goal. McCoy going again, this time to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah. He just went to his left right over Roy Maafala. It's Hill, he'll sprint out of trouble. Does this very well. And Hill gets a blocker, follows it beautifully, breaks free on the sideline, and finally out of bounds. What a job by the CSU quarterback. Back, that familiar stance of Hill, fakes it, rolls out to the right, fires to the end zone, touchdown, Eric Olsen. Coach Lubick has said that all week since we've been here. They are believers. The wind at our back, and we must not play catch-up football in the fourth quarter. They figured now was the time to strike. They went for it, and they'll get a fifth quarter. They trail it by a point. And it's Brown. Huge hole left side. Brown will score. They won't catch him. Utah has the lead back. Attempt this year. Rob Hamilton Dick is in that backfield and they'll show shotgun and they move now. Look at this. Holy mackerel. Look at this formation they're going to line up in. Here is their two point play for Coach McBride. They bring it in motion. They ought to call timeout. They got him wide open. Hamilton for two. <laughs> Credit Rick Rasnick, the offensive coordinator, for coming up with something I haven't seen. <laughs> if I were on defense, I'd have called timeout. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't love it. do that. That's not legal. I love it. <laughs> Folks, this is the first. Look at, don't those jerseys remind you of what the Chicago Bears 
The throwback uniform. But where was the leather helmets? Come on. Here we go. Throw it out to the guy. Out. Watch him throw it out to him behind the. Nope, they're not going to. Bringing him in motion. This time the corner stays at home. They look back now to the screen. They throw it for a touchdown. Holy cow, Rick Tucker scores on the screen off formation zero. My gosh. On the option, look, it's working for a touchdown, Colorado State. Blocked. And it can be returned, remember. Luss coming out, and he'll be tackled on that far side. That was a very, very low kick, Brent. And that was also a huge moment in this game as Kafusi was able to get in there again. He blocked a field goal. Got it. Colorado State ball on the block at the 16-yard line. They've done it again. Darren Claiborne coming out of there with the football. I think it was Adrian Ross, an inside linebacker, that got it number 41. Or Utah, didn't right. Lee Gross Cup design that play? Ward. Touchdown, Colorado State. Hill now going to roll back to the left side and throw the tight end for the deuce. Justin Shaw, very well-conceived play. They rolled away from the strength of the formation. Clay Brown is his running back. McCoy fires Kozlowski inside the 30 for a first down. Hey, you know, they had a real good pass. The thing he doesn't want to do is turn it over. He's going to fade it to the corner. Got him. Touchdown, Utah. Curtis Marsh. See, you have Curtis Marsh at six foot two. Hill rolling to his left. Hill fires. Intercepted. Utah picks it off. Harold Lusk with the interception running free. And Lusk can go the distance. Midfield. He'll score. They won't touch him. Utah is going to win and stay unbeaten. for touchdowns today and here is the second one dick yeah i'll tell you when you're rolling to your left and throwing back across your body like that it's hard to see what everybody else is doing on defense and mr lust saw what to do he picks it off and runs it all the way back here he was a quarterback halfway through the season last year they moved him back to the safety position he says he'd rather be a oh he's glad he's a safety well a little bit earlier today that was not the scene <laughs> those two were not hugging and embracing <laughs> They like their coach, don't they? Huh? <laughs> Scored here today. Those who figured it was going to be low scoring, defensive all the way, wasn't to be. That's going to do it. That'll do it. Utah stays unbeaten. That's the catch him. He goes 100 yards for the touchdown and it is sealed up 45 to 31 Utah stays unbeaten and the coach gets the ceremonial Gatorade bath and we'll come back celebration is on Brent John this is a wonderfully warm scene coach McBride came back out of the locker room ran over to where the Utah fans are here in Hughes Stadium. Made his way down the entire line. Some of the Utah players came out. A very warm moment here. The relationship between the fans who have traveled here from Salt Lake and other parts of the West to see their school. And it's just a very emotionally draining victory. 45-31 for McBride. And of course, as John, as you told him, he now has the inside track to the Holiday Bowl. But Brigham Young. Mac, <laughs> go on and celebrate there, oh, boys. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I tell you, he's a wonderful person. There he is, yeah. huh? What a great scene with the family. I think that's Vicky. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's a great scene.
agony and ecstasy in sports.